So now we're going to talk about arguments. How to make arguments, what are arguments, how to make sure those arguments are effective. If you watched the earlier videos, we've discussed a little bit why arguments are important, right? They are the essential part of a debate. That's what persuades things. You cannot have a debate without arguments. So to be a good debater, you need to know how to make powerful and persuasive arguments. And as a judge, you need to be able to evaluate these arguments to decide which is a powerful argument or compare which argument is better than another argument. You also need, as a debater, to be able to identify arguments in order to engage those arguments. So we'll discuss rebuttals in a separate section, but today we're going to, we're going to focus specifically on arguments. Okay? So arguments are basically things that you use to persuade one side, or persuade people to believe in your side. But what are some you know, common debates or common arguments? I mean, if you have to think about what is better in this economy, is it better to spend money or to save money? What are some arguments for either side? Um, what about in support of middle mixed sex schools or single sex schools? Why are, why are some reasons why single sex schools are better than mixed sex schools, for example, right? Or perhaps in the environment, the huge debates about the environment. If we have taxes on industry, does that actually help the environment or does it hurt the, the environment? All these are debates and there may be some debates that you've had and you make arguments. Now, one debate that I guarantee you have had in your life and has happened in every country all around the world since the beginning of time, well, since the beginning of human existence within time, um, is debates about food. What to eat. What to eat. This, my friends, is a debate that takes up so much time. People talk about this all the time, everywhere, right? Should you eat something spicy or should you eat something sweet? Should you eat something that, somewhere that is far or somewhere that is near? What about fast food or slow food? What about, let's try a different pen, um, food that's expensive? Or cheap? What about food that has variety or a place that has variety or a place that specializes? Many different ways to compare different options. So these are two choices. So maybe you have restaurant A that is fast food, that is spicy, that is near, that's cheap. And restaurant B that's a little bit further away, that's expensive but tastes better, it's a specialty restaurant. And people will have debates, right? And you make an argument to recommend one thing over the other. So for example, I may say that, oh, I like spicy food. But someone else will say, no, 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 I like sweet food. Or but someone else will say, no, I like things that are expensive, because, you know, I've got a lot of money. Or someone else will go like, hey, I'm a poor student, I don't have enough money. When you're in a group, you need to be able to persuade that group to do something for you. You need to make arguments that appeal to the entire group. You can't just argue what's good for you. You can't say, I like something, therefore I will do it. Because in that situation, you just do it by yourself, right? But if you are in a group, you need to appeal to the entire group. So for example, let's say we're going, this choice is happening over lunch. So I will make the argument that since we don't have much time for lunch, we should eat something or eat somewhere that is near and eat something that is fast. So we shall go to the blue restaurant, right? That serves food quickly, that is near. So fast food that is near. That's my argument because it's lunchtime and because we don't have much time for lunchtime, right? So I'm using something that all of us agree is true that now is lunch and we don't have enough time. If someone wants to disagree with me, they can. They can agree. Well, it's difficult to disagree that this is not lunchtime because if it's lunchtime, it's lunchtime. 
But they can disagree on how much time we have. They can say, well, we have enough time to go somewhere a little far, right? Well, there also the food is quite fast um, and the food is cheaper there. So even if we don't have enough time, we should go to those places. Or someone can make a different argument. They can say, hey, you know, we've worked so hard all morning that we deserve a bit of a reward. We should eat something nice for lunch to relax, right? To get our mind off work, to feel energized. So we should eat some nice food, something that's expensive, right? And a place that has some variety, right? Because we want to reward ourselves. So we should go to the red restaurant where we can reward ourselves, right? Maybe that's a different criteria based on a different argument. So both of those arguments start from or try to use something which they think is true, right? The fact that we don't have enough time or the fact that we work so hard in the morning that we need to reward ourselves and then use different ways to measure, different criteria to persuade that uh, the, um, the argument or to persuade people to choose the restaurant of your choice, right? So think about it. How would you make an argument, for example, that uses, um, let's use a different color because otherwise things get confusing. What, if, what arguments could use the fact that restaurants are, that you eat fast food, that has a variety and is spicy. What premise would you need to create um, and how would you analyze that argument? Or a different combination. Try to make different arguments based on the fact that it is lunchtime in order to create, to use different um, of these different attributes and options to persuade people to go to a restaurant of your choice or a different restaurant. Try it and see if you can make that work, right? It's a simple example in a simple context and something that we all can share some experience with, but I'm telling you it's very, very relevant.